Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about significant figures uh, doing multiple operations. We had uh, one video where I showed you guys how to find the appropriate number of significant figures through multiplication and division. And the second video that we did was finding these significant figures when you're adding and subtracting. So in this case we have the multiplication and subtraction being combined. So we need to figure out um, how to solve this problem to the appropriate number of significant figures. If you can remember from basic math, the rules of PEMDAS says that you need to do the parentheses first. So that's the first thing we're going to do. 5.67 minus 2.3. Okay, so I'm going to use the calculator to solve for that. Okay, so let's see, we have 5. Let me turn it on. 5.67 minus 2.3 and we get 3.37 okay so I'm gonna write here 3.37 okay so 3.37 is the answer when you subtract 5.67 minus 2.3 um, to find the significant figures uh, from subtraction uh, remember that we drew a line so the first thing we had to do was uh, line them up in order and then draw a line through it. Um, and that's the, same that, that's the same thing as saying look for the one with the least number of decimal places. 2.3 has less decimal places, it only has one decimal place. And 5.67 actually has two decimal places. So the one with the least decimal places is 2.3, it has one decimal place. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a little uh, line here in the bottom representing that we have uh, we have to round this to one decimal place but don't do any rounding until the very very end of this problem if you start doing the rounding now if you were to round this to 3.4 you'd probably get the wrong answer so don't round when you're performing multiple operations until the very end the reason I'm drawing this little blue line under the 3 is to represent that at the very end uh, this is what we're gonna round okay so now we go to the next operation which is to multiply 3.37 times 3.489 alright let's plug this in the calculator okay so 3.37 times 3.489 and that gives us 11.7579 okay 11.7579 uh 3 okay so this is the this is not the answer remember that we still need to round okay so now what we do is we go back to the multiplication step and we count the number of significant figures so 3.489 has a total of four significant figures so it has a total of four significant figures and 3.37 uh, it looks like it has three but remember this little blue line that we drew so 3.37 is actually supposed to have two significant figures okay that's what the blue line represents that you stop counting there okay so now we pick the one with the least number of significant figures so two significant figures is the least so um, so two significant figures means right here you have two numbers and we have to round by looking at the number next to it so 11.75793 should round to 12. Okay, so the answer to this problem is 12. Let's go ahead and let's do more examples. Okay, so here's the next one. Okay, we have uh, 6.78 times 5.903 times 5.489 minus 5.01 again do parentheses first so 
I'm going to take out the calculator and I'm going to do the parentheses first, which is 5.489 minus 5.01 and I'm going to get 0 0.479. So I'm going to write that here, 0 0.479, let me just recheck, yeah, 0 0.479. Okay, so using the subtraction rule for significant figures, um, you have to look for the one with the least amount of decimal places, which is this one, two decimal places. Okay, so two decimal places, we go right here, so this is where we're going to stop. Okay, so that's where the second decimal place is. And now, we're going to perform the other steps. So now this number here is going to be multiplied by 5.903 and multiply by 6.78. So let's multiply all of this. Okay, we have point four seven nine times five point nine oh three times six point seventy eight and that will give us nineteen point seventeen zero seven 19.1707 and uh, so on and so forth. I'm not going to continue writing. So now we need to um, now we need to round and what we do is we count the number of significant figures. This number has three significant figures. This number has four significant figures and this number, remember you're supposed to stop at the blue line this number only has two significant figures when you stop at the blue line. Okay, so you pick the one with the least amount of significant figures, which is this one, two. So uh, this number, to make it only two significant figures, those are your two figures. Look at the number next to it, it's a one. So the answer is going to be 19. Okay, so 19 is the answer to this problem. Okay, so uh, I hope these examples help. Thanks for watching the video.